Hello guys, it's Ben here from Tune Up Music Lessons and welcome to another video in our classic riff series. It is a series where we're taking some of the best riffs in the world and putting them into a nice short lesson. So we're not going to be learning the full song, we're just going to be learning the most recognisable part, the most recognisable mm. riff. Um, now money is in a very weird time signature, it's in what's called a 7-4 time signature, which basically means for each rotation of the riff, we count to 7. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now it will feel really weird if you've never played in this time signature before. Normally, when we're playing riffs, we're counting to four or maybe six or eight. So to count to seven and then go back to one it can be a real throw off. But once you get used to it, it feels completely normal, and you can't imagine it any other way. So without further ado, let's crack on and learn the riff. Okay, so we're going to break this riff into two different sections. Now, in the first section, we want our left hand in what's called a B5 power chord shape. Now, in order to do that, we're going to get our first finger, place it on the second fret on the A string. We're going to get our third finger, put it on fourth fret on the D string. And we're going to get a pinky and put it on fourth fret on the G string. And we want to hold those three fingers down hard because we're going to be playing all of those strings that we're holding down very shortly. So holding down with our right hand, we're going to down pick the A string, down pick the A string, up pick the G string, up pick the D string, and then down pick the A string again. So down pick the A string, up pick the G string, up pick the D string, and down pick the A string. Now if you're getting some buzzing or some of the notes aren't cutting through, check your left hand. So we need to make sure that we're holding down that second fret on the A string, fourth fret on the D string, and fourth fret on the G string hard in that shape there. The middle finger, just make sure that it's not touching any strings or holding down any frets that it shouldn't be. Okay, so down, up, up, down. Once you've played that last down on the A string, that one there, that is when you can release these three fingers, your first, third, and fourth finger, but not completely off the fretboard, just so they're not pressing down the frets anymore. So you release them up, so they're still, they're still touching the strings, but they're just lightly ledging on the strings, they're not holding them down to the frets any longer. And what that will do is cut all your notes off. So. Okay, so it stops them from all ringing out, which is a perfect um, transition into part two of the riff. So for the second part, you're gonna get your first finger and put it on the second fret on the low E string. Okay, for this part, we're gonna down pick all of the notes for the second half of the riff. So second fret on the low E string, to fifth fret on the low E string. I'm using my pinky, but you can use third finger if you're more comfortable with that. Okay, so second to fifth, both on the low E string. Then we go to second fret on the A string, which I'm gonna use first finger for. Down pick again, all down picks in the second half. So two, five, two on the A string. And then to finish with, we're going to play fifth fret on the A string, which I am down picking again. So you've got two, five on the low E, and then two, five on the A string. Okay. I also throw in a little bend on that fifth fret on the A string. Nothing serious. Just a little, little bend. Okay, and then we're back to the beginning. So it's just those two different sections of the riff. The part where you're holding down this B5 power chord. And then two, five, two, five. Starting on the low E, moving to the A string. Okay, and then you're back to the beginning. Back to the beginning. Back 
to the beginning. And it can feel really weird because of that 7-4 time signature when you start rotating them around. It doesn't quite feel like it should be going back to the start again. But just keep practicing, take it slow the first time through and you'll get it. So that's all for this time. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to drop us a message or leave it in the comments. If you like the video, leave it a like. And if you want more guitar lessons, then subscribe to this channel. We've got more content coming all the time. So thank you and we'll see you next time.